Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing and today we have a really cool catch clean and cook for y'all. I've been wanting to do one of these for a while. I mean I've been out there for a long time hoping to catch what I caught today. And we're going to be doing something a little strange. But I've eaten them before. They're absolutely delicious. I hope I cook it right because I've never cooked one before. This is going to be the first time I've ever cooked one. But today guys we're doing a catch clean and cook on an octopus. I'm very excited about this. I'm really excited about this catch, clean, cook. So real quick, guys, check out this footage. of I was out with Bill the other day. We caught this cool little octopus. Then I'll see you guys in the kitchen cleaning the octopus, and then we're going to cook it. And hopefully it turns out good. Let's see how this goes, guys. this out we got a little mcganser duck in the salt water i have never seen a mcganser in salt water before that is a cool little duck it's a fish eating duck they actually got little tiny teeth cool little bird that's what i got here dead waiter oh i got an octopus, octopus bro. he is going to the house i love octopus Look at this. Look at what we just got right here. Look at this, guys. Nice. That's pretty cool. That bro. is a big one, too, buddy. <laughs> I see an octopus catching cook in my future. That is awesome. That is cool. We'll look at these very often here, guys. That is a big one, too, man. <laughs> awesome. All righty. Well, we got an octopus catching cook coming up on Jer Jetty Rocks Fishing. Listen to him. All right, let me get you on a hook. Look at this. Charge less for the lead ones, by the way. Yeah, look at this thing. Oh, you saw your stuff Look at this thing, guys. This is a big old octopus. Stick your hand right in the center. No, I'm okay with that. <laughs> guys, I think that's my coolest catch this year. An octopus and a big one. I can't wait to try that out on a catch and cook. All right, guys, we're in the kitchen and we have our octopus here. This thing is huge. It's about a four pound, five pound octopus. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clean it real quick. And these things are slimy and they are messy. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna go ahead and take the uh, tentacles off the head and see the eyes right here this is where the head part is you have the tentacles the head and the body so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off right here all right we got that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this beak out it's got a beak right here and take that out. All right, there's that beat. Let me actually clean it up. Oh, there it is right there. It's a pretty cool looking thing. All right. So I got this. This is pretty much done. So I'll go ahead and put this in this bowl. All right, just got that part done. And now we are going to go ahead and remove the head from the body and the guts. So I got that. Throw this away. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this inside out, pretty much. I'm going to get all the guts out. 
We could probably even cut it a little bit if we wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this up. I'm not gonna let you guys see all this. This is gonna be pretty nasty. I'm gonna get remove these out. We'll be right back. Alrighty, well we got the head clean, so now we're gonna pull the skin off. Good start is the hard part. There we go. Pull the skin off the head. Just like that. We got some clean white meat showing. We discard that. We just got some really nice clean white meat. And we'll go ahead and turn it inside out. Get all this membrane on the inside out. all cleaned up cut that off right. cut all this off cut all this nastiness off Guys, we have a nice clean hood. Here. All right, I'm gonna just flip it back over. There we go, guys. We have the clean hood and we have the tentacles. So I'm gonna let these sit in the refrigerator overnight in this little bowl, and then tomorrow we'll cook them. All right, guys, we've got our octopus. Been sitting in the refrigerator overnight. So I'm letting it uh, get to room temperature. And over here, I have a pot of water that I'm gonna bring to a boil. I have two lemons in there that I squeezed and then I put the whole lemon in the water and I also have some salt in there. This is gonna be my poaching liquid for the uh, octopus. I'm gonna bring this to a boil. And then we'll get started on this. Okay, now water's to a nice boil here. So now we're gonna take our octopus and we are going to dip it in the water three times so that the legs curl. You see how they're curling up like that? That's pretty cool. May have to do it more than three times. I want it to curl up pretty good. There we go. They're doing it now. Yep, that's doing what they're supposed to do. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put this whole thing in there. I'm gonna let it simmer. For about 45 minutes to an hour. There we go. All right, and while that's doing that, we're gonna do something else with the hood. Okay, well, we got the hood here. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half. All righty, so I got two halves here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna score it. I don't want to cut all the way through. I want to get some nice little scores on it. So that way it doesn't curl up on me. I'm going to do both sides. All right, guys. Well, I decided to use some sesame oil instead of butter. So we got some sesame oil right here, and then we're gonna put some, some fresh minced garlic in here. 
quite a bit. So sesame, oh man, that sesame oil smells awesome when it heats up. Man, that stuff's incredible. This stuff we're using, some toasted sesame oil. Stuff is amazing. I love doing scallops with it, so I'm kind of wanting the same flavor that I have with the scallops with the uh, octopus. So hopefully it'll turn out. And we have our, woo, fog up my lens there. We got our octopus cooking in here. Starting to look pretty good. So let's see how we do here, guys. Get this nice and coated. Turn it down just a little bit. And we're going to season our, uh, our octopus. Some black and redfish magic. I'll go ahead and lay that in there. Lay this one in here as well. Yeah, we're gonna put some more black and redfish magic on it. All right. See how that turns out. It's my first time cooking octopus, y'all. All right, well, I'm going to take the, uh, the hood out. All right, so we got that done. All right, guys, well, the hood's done, so I'm just going to try a little piece real quick. This was just a complete experiment for me. See what it tastes like real quick. I'm hoping it tastes a little bit like calamari or conch. Let's see. All right, that's really chewy, but it's got a great flavor. All in all, not bad doing that. I'll probably do something different next time with the hood. I'll probably just put it in the water. With the rest of it i just wanted to try that out not bad but i would try something different next time all right guys well it's been simmering for about an hour now i'm gonna go ahead and take it out and that's what we're looking at right there guys that's pretty cool looking if you ask me There we go. There's our octopus. There we go, guys. I'm gonna let it cool down for a little bit. And then I'm gonna cut it in sections. We're gonna put it on the grill. I think I'm gonna save one tentacle and I'm gonna slice it sashimi style that like we need with some um, soy sauce or something. But right now we're just gonna let this cool off, let it rest for a little bit. Hopefully it'll be good. All right, guys, in this little pan right here, I'm going to make our sauce for the octopus. Just going to melt some butter. And then put some garlic in there, some lemon juice, and that's what we're going to use. And we're going to garnish it with some uh, scallions, some fresh green onions. All right, I got my butter melted, put my garlic in there, I put some uh, black and red fish magic in there. Now I'm just squeezing some lemons in there. Two, one whole lemon, two halves. And there we go, guys. That's going to be our sauce for our uh, octopus. That smells awesome. I'll tell you that right now. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting my octopus. Cut each tentacle off, like that. Like this, and then these are the ones that we'll be grilling. Cool little things. Alright. 
just like that. Alrighty. We're ready for the grill. We're gonna get the grill started. All right, guys, we're at the grill. I got my grill at 550 degrees. I want the sear. We're gonna go ahead and put the octopus on. Just like that, that's what we want. We're going to let each side cook for about five minutes. Come back out, we'll flip them. Pretty interesting looking, I have to say. First time doing this, it's a little weird, a little interesting all at the same time. All right, guys, we got our one little piece here that I wanted to do some sashimi style. I'm gonna do is just gonna cut these little pieces off like this. And I'm gonna try that with some soy sauce and see what that tastes like. Alright guys, I'm gonna try these little pieces like this and some soy sauce. Now right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, I can do that. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. Yeah, that's all right right there. That's really good. You want to try it, Summer? Huh? Let's see what Summer thinks real quick. Don't make a mess. Pretty good, huh? Mm. All right, all right, cool. All right, guys, they look pretty good here. Put a nice little char on them like you're supposed to. Oh, that's, that's how it's supposed to look. Got nice little grill marks on them. All right, this is pretty interesting right here. Pretty cool, guys. Grilled octopus. Never thought I'd be doing this, but hey, it smells awesome. Alrighty, go ahead and take these off. Then our octopus. Or as someone calls it, her octopi. <laughs> I have to say, guys, this is probably the weirdest thing I've ever cooked. Definitely on a catch and cook. All right, that's what we got, guys. We'll go ahead and put the sauce on them, and we're gonna eat dinner. All right, well, we got our octopus here. Someone I've been snacking on the ones in soy sauce. That's actually really good. And then we're gonna put our little butter sauce and lemon over our octopus. I put a couple scallions in there. Lots of garlic. All right. And I'm just gonna garnish it with some fresh green onions. And there you go, guys. That actually looks pretty doggone good, if I do say so myself. We'll see how it tastes. Real anxious to try this out. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and plate mine up real quick. Uh, very tender, very tender. All right. All right. Let's go try this out. This is the very first for me. I've never eaten grilled octopus, so... Uh, All right, Daddy Rockers, here goes nothing.
that does not taste nowhere near like I thought it would. It's very good, but it tastes like I'm eating a, a pork chop. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit. That's interesting. I like it. But that is interesting. It does not taste like seafood at all. Pretty different. I wanted to get Mama and Summer in here to try it, but Mama didn't want me to do it. Octopus cats and cook, so she's not gonna be on camera doing this. She's like, uh-uh, no way. And Summer, she already ate some of that and she liked it. Yeah, guys, it's pretty good. But it's, uh, it doesn't taste like fish or seafood. See how white that is? The texture's pretty different. But I do like it. I'd definitely eat one again. Like this. That is really good. Hmm. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me and watching me do one of the strangest catch and cooks I've ever done. But man, that's pretty good. I like it. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for all your support. I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. And New Year's right around the corner. I wish you guys a very happy New Year. Please stay safe. Please be safe out there on the roads on New Year's Eve. Until I see you all again, Ty Lines, Jerry Rockers, we'll be seeing you all real soon. Ooh, that's good. Give me some more. Hey Jerry Rockers, thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jerry Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jerry Rockers.